I got a text message one morning, uh, about 5.30 in the morning, with a picture of uh, this scrawny looking brown and white dog. And they said, we named him Nick, can we keep him? So I came to the firehouse that, you know, to, to work that morning. I couldn't wait to get here and, and find out the story. Um, apparently our guys uh, got a phone call early in the morning that there was a dog tied to a fire hydrant uh, somewhere along Liberty Street. And that the dog had been tied up for over 24 hours all by himself with nobody around. So they went there and of course this is what they found, that skinny looking brown and white dog. And um, they brought him back here and they gave him a bath and a name and a bunch of food and, and he's never left. So uh, our guys, um, the guys in the union, uh, they all chip in um, and pay for his uh, medical care, you know, his vet visits, his food, everything he needs, his toys. And, uh, and that's about, that's uh, the long story short. I think he has a calming effect on our guys you know kind of uh takes her mind off of not being home with their families you know he's uh somebody that that depends on our guys just like our families depend on our guys uh, when he does hear the tones uh if he's not tired he'll run with the guys and stand next to the rig until somebody picks him up and puts him inside he's an icebreaker like i was telling you it's uh it's almost like People need an excuse to come over and talk to us about safety or talk to us about the fire trucks or let their kids see the fire truck. And they're almost almost like they need a reason to ask, but they see the fire dog. Oh, can I, can I pet your dog? Here they come over. Next thing you know, the kids are sitting in the fire truck. The grown-ups are talking about fire safety. Our guys are telling them to change their smoke alarm batteries or check their smoke alarms or, you know, just, you know, talking about safety. Um come a long way since we got him. He was literally skin and bones. Um, you know, he eats well here. We take good care of him. So he's, uh, he's good. He's actually my running buddy every once in a while. Um, off and on here, we've, we've had dogs, not have dogs. Um, the dogs just bring a little bit more life to the firehouse, you know? Um, I don't say it. They, they, I guess they cheer everybody up a little bit. You know, you, it's hard. He's infectious. You know, he comes running out here, whipping things around. And some days you're like, not now, Nick. But then other days you're like, ah, it's great. You run up and down with him. You throw it back and forth. He's all over the place. So he's, he's good for the morale, to say the least. You guys will come in in the morning with their coffee and an egg sandwich. Um, he'll beg for an egg sandwich. No, if we're at the table, he'll go lie underneath the, the table or he'll go in his bed and just lie down for a while. And... That's it. He doesn't bother us at the table. Um, so on, a, on Nick's Facebook page, we put up an advertisement for the Firefighters Ball. And uh, out of nowhere, we got a ton of interest in auctioning off Nick as a date. We have an old Class A uniform that we're going to have retailored to, uh, to fit him. And we're going to try and get him to wear a bell cap as well, if we can. <laughs> I can imagine dancing with him would be kind of difficult, though. Uh, no, he'll jump right up on you. Yeah, he's pretty easy. Nick.